You might know him from such stories as The Three Little Pigs, Little Red Riding Hood, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Yes, you guessed it. He's big. He's bad. The Big Bad Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. The Art of the Scare, a memoir. Yeah, I've been working on it for quite a while. Lots of stories of me tricking people, scaring animals, eating people. Well, you don't seem that scary to me. Try me. Okay, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Today we're reading Little Red Riding Hood's Adventure Through the Woods, one of my favorites. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hi, I'll take it from here. My name is Bonnie, but everyone calls me Little Red Riding Hood. I'm pretty much friends with everyone I know, but my very best friend of all time is my grandma. <laughs> She's the sweetest, most amazing lady you'll ever meet. We do like everything together. Aww. We bake. We travel. We do arts and crafts. So anyway, let's get into the story. Started when I got a call. Hello. Hello, Little Red. It's Grandma. Achoo! Gazootite, are you sick? I think so. My head is achy. My belly hurts. I've got chills and I can't get out of bed. No, that's terrible. I'll be right over with soup and juice and medicine and ice cream. Ice cream is essential when you're sick. Alrighty, I'm all packed up. To Grandmother's house we go. <laughs> I couldn't waste any time, so I decided to take a shortcut through the woods. Even though my mom specifically said to stick to the village roads, and everything was fine. Easy breezy and honky dory, until I started to sneeze. Achoo! 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 Oh no, am I getting sick too? Uh, uh, Ow! Was that a dog? I'm allergic to dogs. That must be why I'm achoo! Sneezing. I better hurry up and get to Grandma's house. So I picked up the pace. Hello. Uh, 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 a talking dog? No, I am a wolf. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon, talking wolf. Wait, a wolf? Don't be afraid, I am a nice wolf. Okay. Could there really be such a thing as a nice wolf? I'm not so sure. Uh, uh, achoo! Bless you. Thanks. I think I'm a little bit allergic to you. Oh no, well, then I'll leave you. But could you spare a crumb of food for a poor old wolf? I'm hungry. Well, this stuff is for my grandma. She's sick. I'm going to her house now. Is that right? Well, I can't let you do that. <laughs> you, you can't? No, I insist you must pick some flowers first. Oh, pick some flowers? <laughs> Yes, it will cheer your grandmother up. Oh, and do you know any jokes? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll bring her some flowers and tell her some hilarious jokes. She'll be better in no time. Say, do you know any jokes? Oh, certainly. What do you call a lost wolf? What? A werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty great. My pleasure. Oh my, what big teeth you have. Oh. I hadn't noticed. Well, goodbye. He seemed nice enough, right? So I skipped ahead to Grandma's house. And again, everything was just fine until I... <gasps> uh, tripped! Uh, huh? I'm stuck in a trap! But who would set a trap? I've only seen that wolf around here and he seemed perfectly nice. But what I didn't know at the time, kids, was that wolf was not nice at all. In fact, he was... Bad! In fact, I am so bad that people call me a big, bad wolf. And now I've set a trap for Little Red Riding Hood. All because I want to get to Grandma's house first. Why, you ask? Well, because I'm going to eat her. Don't act surprised. I told you, I am bad. So, Little Red Riding Hood is probably stuck in their trap somewhere. And look at me. I'm on my way to Grandma's house. Bon appetit. Hello? 
Grandma, it's me. Ugh, I'm totally stuck. All right, time to show off my survival skills. Super crucial survival skill number one, yell for help. Help, 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 help. Hello? Huh? Hello? I'm over here. Where? Here. Keep talking. I'll follow your voice. Oh, well, I've been stuck here for a while and I was going to my grandma's because I was, I was, but I stopped because there was a wolf because then I said, so I got some flowers and then I picked the flowers, I put them in my bag and I was running and I was running and I was so tired, a little bit hungry too. And you know, I feel like I'm kind of sweating. It's a little bit humid today. And, oh, hi, I got stuck in this trap. Can you help me? Of course. There you go. Oh. I'm free. <laughs> Name's Big Al. I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You may be wondering what I'm doing in the woods this late. Well, I'm on my way to my grandma's house. See, she's sick. Everything was fine until I got distracted by that old wolf. I think I'm allergic to him. And then I got stuck in this darn trap. You say you saw a wolf? Yeah, a talking wolf. Crazy, right? Did he have a fancy sounding accent? Yeah, he did actually. How did you know? That wolf, he might be dangerous. So Big Al the Lumberjack walked with me, keeping watch for the wolf. But we didn't see him. And I didn't have any sniffles or sneezes at all, so he must have been far away. Here's my grandma's house. Thanks for the escort, Big Al. <laughs> no problem. See you around. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. <clears throat> Come on in. She sounds really sick. Good thing I'm here. <laughs> Grandma? Huh? Uh, Hello, Little Red. Need a tissue? It's the big bad wolf, but he's wearing my grandmother's clothes. <laughs> As if that would fool me. Whatever, I'll just play along. Wow, Grandma, you look real sick. Yes, I'm quite ill. I mean, just awful. You look dreadful. Terrible. Okay, I get it. Enough. And my, how big your teeth look. I don't remember your teeth looking so ridiculously huge. Oh, I mean, oh. And you're so hairy. I don't remember you being so fuzzy. I should probably give you a nice shave. Let me go fetch your razor. No, I mean, I should lie down. I'm feeling quite queasy. Oh, of course. So I tucked in the big bad wolf. Weird, I know. <laughs> he actually did seem a little ill though. Went out like a light. Never mind that. I needed to find my grandma. I looked all around the house, under beds, behind the curtains, inside cupboards, on the roof, grandma, everywhere. Where could she be? But then I heard something. Uh, grandma? I looked everywhere. Where could the sound be coming from? Little Red. I followed the sound of my grandmother's voice all the way to... Huh? Get me out of here, Red! Shh! The wolf is sleeping! How did you get inside his belly? He ate me! What? Swallowed me in one gulp! Lucky for me, he doesn't chew his food! That's why he was feeling so queasy! Well, I'm gonna get you out of there, Grandma! Don't you worry! Hurry! Achoo! Bless you. So kids, I was really in a pickle. How was I supposed to get my grandmother out of the big bad wolf's belly? I decided to consult an expert, the internet. Uh, I keep trying to get grandma to upgrade. Come on, come on. I'm in a hurry, internet. What's time for this? Yeesh. Finally, okay, here we go. What? to do when your grandma gets eaten by a big bad wolf. Hmm, says here I gotta make the wolf throw up. Ew. Gross, or else I'd have to perform surgery to get her out. Looks like we're gonna need to do the throw up thing. Yuck. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? Oh, I ran outside. Grandma, grandma. I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh, but I knew I had to be brave to rescue my grandma from the big bad wolf. 
slow down? You're jostling me. Can it, Granny? Mind your manners, young man. I've got to remember to chew next time. What was that? Boy, I wish I had picked a less annoying grandma to eat. Oh. I heard that. Grandma! Ah! Oh, no, not her. Over here, little red. Ow! Jostling. Shush, Grandma, and quit moving around in there. You're giving me indigestion. You just wait. Little Red will come and save me. She's the smartest little whippersnapper I ever saw. But she has to find me first, and she'll never do that. <laughs> so I've been all over the dark woods looking for the big bad wolf and, of course, my grandma. For a while, I could hear my grandma calling for me, but then I lost track of her. Grandma! 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 See? Nothing. I was so scared. What if I never found her? I was starting to freak out. And when I freak out, the only thing I can do to calm me down is a solo dance party. Little Red? Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, Big Al! <laughs> Celebrating because your grandma's all better? No! Not even close. She's gone and I can't find her, Big Al. You were right about the wolf. He's big and he's bad and he ate my grandma. What? Yeah, I know. So I've been looking all over for her and it's like they just disappeared. So, you're dancing? That's what I do to calm down. Oh, gotcha. Well, let's go find your grandma. You'll help me? Of course. You think I'm gonna stand by while some big bad wolf is terrorizing nice girls and eating their grandmas? It's on. All right, <laughs> let's go kick some big bad wolf tail. <laughs> we were off to find the big bad wolf and rescue my grandma. <laughs> But the finding part turned out to be really super crazy hard. It seriously was like the big bad wolf had just disappeared into thin air. Oh, where are they? We've looked all over the woods and no sign of them anywhere. Oh, and my nose didn't even tingle once. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm allergic to the wolf, so when I'm near him, my nose gets all itchy and sniffly. I see. And no sniffles? Nope, I'm the perfect picture of health, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like we just need a lucky break. I know, right? Well, no use in hanging around here. Yeah, let's go. That's right, walk away. Nothing to see here. <laughs> what? Is Little Red nearby? Little Red, I'm right here. Come back. It's no use, Granny. <sighs> Just about time for my nap, so keep it down in there, okay? Uh, what? What was that? Nothing. Shh. I knew she'd come back. Little Red, Little Red. Ah, <clears throat> Big Al, I sneezed. Oh, sorry. Bless you. Al, I sneezed. Oh, right. That means he's right under a uh, nose. Uh, Oh, so he's got to be here somewhere. But where? Huh? Is he hiding up in the tree branches? Maybe he has a tree house. Tree houses are very cool. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like there's anything up there. I don't get it. We've looked all over. To the left. To the right. We've looked up. Hey, we haven't looked down yet. Oh, well, I think that we would have noticed if you were sitting on the ground, Al. <laughs> Maybe he's underneath the ground. Hmm, like a super secret big fat wolf hideout or something. <gasps> I know it sounds crazy, but... Hey, what's that blinking red light? Huh? Looks like a security camera. In the woods? Ah! Did you hear that? The wolf! Ha <laughs> ha, we're on to you, wolf. Dang! Now, how are we gonna get down there? Um, Big Al, look! Hey, did I do that? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of an accident, but whatever, let's go! Gotcha! Freeze, Wolfie! Little Red, thank goodness! Okay, Wolf, it's time to give me back my grandma. Cough her up! Never! Well, I guess Big Al is gonna have to chop her out! Yikes, no way! Whoa, 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 that's not really in my job description! 
Okay, well, then the big bad wolf is gonna have to throw her up. Ew. Oh, I hate throwing up. It's icky. Well, it's icky being inside here. Do what Little Red says. Ouch! Did you just kick me? Yeah, and there's more where that came from, too. Ow! Cut it out, Granny. Or I'll eat Little Red here for dessert. Oh, no, you won't. hi -ya. <laughs> Grandma! Little Red! Yuck! Oh, now my breath totally stinks. Ew. Oh, Little Red. I am so glad you found me. Me too. But my job's not over yet. Big Al, let's tie this wolf up. Tie me up. You're going to jail. No! Pretty happy ending, right? <laughs> we saved Grandma and the big bad wolf was about to go to jail. Uh, Little Red? Yeah, what? He got away! What? How? I don't know. He just up and vanished. Granny, did you see which way he went? Don't ask me. Oh no, the big bad wolf is on the loose again. There must be a secret tunnel or something. Cool. This isn't cool, Big Al. We have to get to the wolf. He's a villain. Come on. A secret hideout with an underground escape tunnel? You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Not if we can't find the escape tunnel. I mean, we just poke a book or something and the doorway just opens up? Ah! Hey, you found it. Grandma! It looks just like a water slide. Come on, Big Al. We're going in. Woohoo! We're coming for you, Grandma! Okay, little red. Ah. Ouch! Ow! Uh, ow! It's dark down here. Where are we? I think we're in the sewer. That means we must be close to town. We'll just climb out and find the police. They'll be able to help us catch the big bad wolf. Nice try, but no. This is actually a dungeon. <laughs> ah, the big bad wolf! Achoo! That's right, and you're my prisoners now. Forever! <laughs> you're trapped. You'll never get out. No way! Let us out! Huh? Ah! A good lumberjack never travels without his tools. Well then, I guess I'll just have to run! Ow! You're just trapped down there forever now, huh? <laughs> Sad. Okay, so now I can finally report that there was a happy ending. We fetched the police and they came for the big bad wolf. Big Al and I got super cool deputy badges and our pictures in the paper. And Grandma got a high-tech security system to keep the big bad wolves out. Hello? It's me, Grandma. Hi, not a big bad wolf or anything. <laughs> just making sure. Gotta play it safe. And best of all, I got my grandma slash best friend back. <laughs> I went to visit her like every single day. Big Al even came over sometimes. And we would just sit around and laugh about the time the big bad wolf got trapped in his own stinky dungeon. <laughs> and eat ice cream, of course. <laughs> ice cream is essential when you're hanging out with friends. So Little Red, Grandma, and Big Al all lived happily ever after. Hi there, kids. It's me, Miss Booksy. One of the most notorious villains is back. Can you guess who? Nope, it's not Ray Blank, or Grace Kale, or even Captain Hooksy. Yikes! <laughs> it's the Big Bad Wolf. Let's watch all our episodes with the Big Bad Wolf. Who's there? What do you want? My sheep are missing. Don't look at me. I didn't take your sheep. I've been hibernating all winter. I don't think wolves hibernate. What? I can't take a long nap. Never mind that. I need your help. Oh, you need help, do you? What's in it for me? All the bacon bits you can buy. That's right, kids. Little Bo Peep figured if anyone could find a flock of sheep, it would be the big bad wolf. He's bad, but he's got a good nose. Now go snip out those sheep, wolfie. Don't call me that. I've got a reputation to keep. Sorry. The big bad wolf sniffed all around, all through town. He stopped to listen for baths and bleats. Nothing, not a peep, no sign of the sheep. News Channel 5, live on the scene, as the notorious Big Bad Wolf is on the hunt for the missing mutton. Here he is now. Big Bad Wolf, give us the scoop. Any sign of those sheep? So far, zip, nothing. You heard it here first. Still on the hunt for the missing flock. Looks like bad news. More on this at 11 o'clock. Little Bo Peep was so upset. Her beloved sheep were missing and no one knew where to find them. Oh, if only they would show up now, wagging their little tails behind them. Wait, what's that sound? Holy cannolis! They're back! My sheep! My sheep! 
But who's that guy? Is that... Old McDonald? <laughs> Old McDonald, what are you doing with my sheep? Well, I was doing my usual inventory, and on my farm I have some sheep. Here a sheep, there a sheep, and here a sheep, and there a sheep, and here and there, and oh wow, everywhere a sheep, sheep. These aren't all my sheep. Whose sheep are these? And then I saw the news, and well, here we are. Well, I was so worried, my babies. But wh why would you guys run away to Old McDonald's farm? You naughty boys and girls. I don't think the sheep ran away, little Bo Peep. I also found this. <gasps> the mystery gets more mysterious. Ew, what is that? I think it's wolf hair. It was you the whole time.